And I welcome you back to the Debrenic channel. I am back, and today we are talking about Lake Oroville, and we also will be talking about the Colorado River as well. There's plenty to talk about today, and we are going to get right into it, as we haven't talked about Lake Oroville in quite a while. I have been looking at the maps, and the maps are conflicting, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. As we roll out to windy.com, we are starting off looking at the G. FS and you are getting a wide view here all the way from Lake Havasu up to Northern California all the way across Nevada, Utah and a little bit in Colorado as well. See over the next 24 hours, Nevada's going to get a little precipitation but not a lot. Utah a little bit of precipitation. This is the GFS we're looking at. We go the next three days and they are talking about a little bit of snow in Colorado. So you have that going on a little bit down here in Nevada. We go the next five days and not much but then the next 10 days this is where it gets interesting 10 days this thing lights up like a christmas tree will this hold the pass it's a long way out i've been watching it for the last couple days and this both models had been agreeing up until today today for whatever reason they are not agreeing and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about they're talking about 2.19 inches of rain and i'm sure a lot of that will be new snow and they're talking a big significant swap of snow coming into the mountain so we will see if this happens over at Flagstaff. They're talking almost 18.9 inches all the way over at Junction. They're talking 15 inches. Tell you ride to the east of it, 26 inches. You go up to Steamboat Springs, 9.1, and you get the gist. It's going to be a lot in the Sierra Mountain Range. You have a good swap coming according to the GFS. Now this is a long way out, so not to get too excited yet, but things could change because you go over to the European model and they're calling for very little precipitation in California and more over in the Colorado Rocky Mountains area like Steamboat Springs 14.7 Telluride 5.6 so you see the difference quite a bit and hardly anything here so we will see what happens this is a very very long way out and who knows what ultimately might happen I was down in Havasu on Friday and that was nice and I went down to Park Parker Dam right here and that was fantastic beautiful country down there I want to give a big shout out to Supercharge and his wife for accommodating me and my wife out for lunch that was very nice too bad I didn't get to meet anybody else I hope everybody had a great week and we are just going to check out the measurements tonight I'm not going to bore you with long numbers tonight so let's see what's going on last year at this time exactly when that big storm came through or they were at 629 feet today they're at 600 83.68 with maybe a potential storm coming down the pike so we may see a big fluctuation coming here in the next couple weeks or so it's still higher than it was last year at this time so we still have some positives to work on still not quite as high as 2020 so we will definitely be watching to see if the weather changes changes since yesterday the lake has dropped 0.52 inches in the last 24 hours and we will go up to lake shasta next to see what's going on. Lake Shasta's current water level is 920.90 feet and this was October 25th taken at 1 p.m. The level is 146.10 feet below full pool of 1067. Changes since yesterday 0.06 so still higher than last year. Not as high as 2020 but the water level has not fallen very much and I got some news on the California reservoir that's going to come in. The the Sites Reservoir has been funded even further, and we'll be talking about that next. So the Sites Reservoir got another $30 million in federal funds to support the Sites Reservoir. The funding is part of a $210 million investment in the drought mitigation and resilient efforts with the latest funding support announced the sites project has now received 134 million dollars in federal funding the project will have a capacity of 1.5 million acres of water in the sacramento river system and i have talked about this before but maybe some of my new viewers have not seen it it's going to be good it comes with controversy many environmentalists will be like hey you can't take water from the river but they don't plan on taking it only during the 
the wet season so it'll help fill up they said one good storm could possibly fill it up fairly quickly I think California needs more of this this is just one of many places that need to have it they definitely could use a heck of a lot more and to pump it in is not a bad situation you don't have to desalinate it all you have to do is pump it in it's not a bad idea instead of just letting it run out to sea that they have been why not I think we need to do this more often this is my take on it what you guys think please comment down below let's go check out the Colorado River system and see what's going on there we go to Lake Powell first which I was out there last Monday a beautiful place really enjoyed it long drive but hey it was well worth the drive I tell you that right now me and the wife decided to go to the Grand Canyon the same day we were in the car for 15 hours we were pretty wore out by the time we got back but hey it was well worth the drive both places are spectacular beautiful you ever get a chance I don't recommend doing it all in the same day like we did but hey you guys could definitely enjoy yourself and have a great time and the level at Lake Powell is currently 3,529.92 feet MSL this was Monday October 24th the level is 170.08 feet below full pool 3700 changes since yesterday hey it's only gone down 0.02 and down to Lake Mead we go we were there last Wednesday as most of you know and that was a beautiful time a beautiful sight and uh, Lake Mead's current water level is 1046.43 feet that was taken Tuesday October 25th the level is 182.57 feet below full pool of 1229 and this lake is on the rise as well we're actually up to 146 feet remember water low for the year was 1040.77 so the level has gone up to over five feet of elevation gain since July so that's fantastic if it comes down another 20 feet by next year at this time well then that will be 126 feet so we'll see what happens next July however there is a lot of snow in the forecast maybe we will actually have a good year well, we're praying for it anyway so down to Lake Havasu we go next Lake Havasu's current water level is 449.37 feet MSL this was taken Tuesday October 25th 2022 the level is 4.37 feet above full pool of 445 changes since yesterday 0.06 and while that place is beautiful we went down like i said the other day we were down at parker and here's some photos of that beautiful place i recommend anybody that gets a chance to go down there to do so and the last thing i have for tonight is there actually has been some decent rain in the mississippi river valley and i'm going to show you those totals here in a second so there has been some good precipitation in Missouri, St. Louis, through Illinois. Look at these totals here. 3.63 inches over here. 1.79. So anybody that's watching, it's a jam-packed day full of information. And this is good news. We will check the river gauges. They probably have come up some. Now the river is very low, so it's going to take some time. But I'm sure over the course of the next couple days, the river will come up. We need more rain, obviously. This is just a little Kickstarter, so hopefully it will definitely help but all the way up to wisconsin so this rain definitely is going to help put some water back in that on the way home there was water standing in the field that's a good situation so you can see that st louis has actually went from a negative to a positive all in a few days zero being zero stage the current water level there is 0 0.21 feet so it's just barely above normal stage there so we finally got some precipitation so right down here by Cape Girardeau there's this thing called Tower Rock in the middle of the river and here it is you can see all these people generally this is where this guy's sitting right here is completely full of water this water comes all the way up to here you can see that the water lines generally right about here you can see my cursor right there you can see that and that is generally where this is and you can see how dry it is I'm sure this is going to come up above that with all the precipitation that they received in the last 24 36 hours it's just it's going to come back up so if you didn't get a chance to get out there I feel bad for you I did not I was out of town and I had some friends actually go down there and they said it was awesome so you guys have a blessed day and we will be keeping an eye on everything and we will see you on the next one God bless